Vicky, what have you been doing with your hair? Let me just say that this has been a journey. <laughs> so I have gray hair. Um, and it wasn't really intentional for me to have gray hair, honestly. Um, I I've been through a lot. Um, if you don't follow me on social media, you don't know what's happening. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'm literally just playing around with my hair and I hope that you guys aren't like freaking out, but I'm living. So update. Okay. Backtracking. The last video I made, my hair was blonde, um, was my adulting video. And that was a couple weeks ago. And from that point, I really wanted to get my hair as ashy as possible. I shouldn't have said that because now I'm complete ash, like ash tray, like stick your cigarette in me fam kitty litter hair which ooh, I can't really say I hate I can't really say I hate it in this lighting it looks real scary but in real life it's a lot a lot more tame than it appears on camera it's definitely still not what I was intending um but I'm giving up my hopes and dreams to have the perfect blonde I think I'm just doing a lot and I need to chill out. When I wore my hair in that adulting video, I had already toned my hair. I used the Wella toner, the Wella Color Charm toner in T18. And then I washed it out with purple shampoo. Um, and that was the result. And it was very, st it was still very golden. I wasn't satisfied with it. I wanted to do something funky for Generation Beauty. So when I went to New York for Generation Beauty, I had pink hair. I used the Ion Color, Brill Color Brilliance temporary hair makeup in the color rose gold which is on sale at, at salads right now if you guys want to check it out so like that was the easiest way to do it i put it on my hair let it dry boom um cameron said i look like an iphone and i have no shame in that because that was actually gold i was feeling the rose gold for about a week or so and then after that i was ready to move on to my blonde again and try to figure out how to get it the way i wanted it so this is what happened. I tried to lift my hair again. Didn't really do very much. I went to Sally's. I got the Wella Color Charm, but this time I got the T14, Pale Ash Blonde. I believe the T18 is lightest, lightest blonde or something like that. I don't know. And there was instructions on the sign next to the Wella Color Charm. If you wanted silver hair <laughs> to use color additive, um, in the color cooling violet with the toner to make it basically this color. I felt like if I did the silver on top of the like orangish yellow that I had going on, it would kind of help to like neutralize it and make it more blonde, blonde that I wanted. Not silvery surfer. I wasn't trying to look like grandma, but now I look like grandma. We're just gonna go with it because at this point I don't have much of a choice. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it like this for now. But this is the update. And if you're wondering how my curls are doing, fam, my curls are not backing down. They're not giving up. My curls are literally like, heck no, we won't go. They are not gonna give up. They're not gonna stop. They're gonna work harder. They are survivors, they're gonna make it. My curls are survivors, keep on surviving. Curls are popping and they refuse to quit. And I am just shocked and appalled. Kudos to my curls for being amazing because they're, they're holding on. I'm really curious to see how it looks straightened, but I'm still scared to straighten my hair since I've been doing so much to it. Um, but I'm probably going to straighten it this weekend and see how it looks. And if it looks good, I'll make a video and show you guys. If you want to know what products I've been using, you can check out my most recent favorites video. And I talk about the products I've been using on my hair to keep it healthy. But other than that, that's it. I'll talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Peace out.